Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to kind of a different video, a, a video that I have never really done before. This is the top releasable nations for Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod. Um, you, probably, you guys are probably thinking this is a United States episode. No, 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 not today. Now I have to speak a little quiet because my girlfriend is just behind me. Um, sleeping because she's sick at the moment and I don't want to wake her up so I have to speak a little quiet but the first country or releasable nations that we're gonna go into today is from the United States a couple of them the first one is really cool releasing Texas now you can play as Texas or release them as puppets but we're not gonna do any of that we're just gonna try looking at what they are so we're gonna release Texas so you can see that now Texas is their own nation. Now surprisingly enough, Texas has actually wanted to do this and people have thought, can Texas survive on their own not being a part of the United States? Well, in Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Modern Day Mod, you can do that. So the president, uh, you could call, of Texas is Rick Perry because of course Rick Perry is, um, is he the senator of Texas? I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I knew he endorsed Donald and you know talked a lot with donald so that's how i know rick perry but i know people from texas know rick perry so you can let me down tell me down in the comments below uh what rick perry is is he a congressman senator is he the mayor something like that or like i mean the mayor is like for towns whoops so let's continue going so manage occupied territories we're gonna click that again we can release the confederate states now this is really cool so we can release them and you can see they'll pop up here the confederate states of america now they are i think i clicked puppet whoops so if we look my <laughs> i think this is really funny but mike huckabee is the president of the confederate states which which is actually really cool so if you release the confederate states um not releasing texas first then texas will be a part of the confederate states of america so you can actually do kind of a civil war-esque kind of thing how, like how i was doing a little bit before but the actual mod this will release it as a separate nation that you can choose to play as if you really want to so that's really cool in and of itself a couple other uh mentions in the united states that you can release of course if we go yeah see they're a subject of ours we release them as a puppet whoops but we can return territory to Cuba, we can release the nation of California, we can release the nation of Alaska, we can release the nation of Hawaii, and we can release the Cascadian Republic. So that's really cool, as you can see the Cascadian Republic um, under that guy. I guess he's one of the choosers. And then Jerry Brown in California. Alaska belongs to Sarah Palin. So have fun with that. And then Hawaii being controlled by basically just the AI. So if we go into another cool country that I think this would be a lot of fun. I'm actually going to use uh, a cheat for this, which is exciting. Tag. B-R-I. Oh, no. Tag. What is it? England. E-N-G. There it is. I thought it was Britain, but it's not. It's England. So if we go into the United Kingdom here, we can manage occupied territories here, and you return territory to both Ireland and Spain. But you can also release the nation of Scotland, which actually, if you guys remember, that almost happened. They almost got their independence, um, but they were a couple votes shy, I believe. You can also release the nation of Wales. So that's also really cool so you can play as either wales and try to capture all of the united kingdom under the welsh banner or you could try to do it with scotland under of course i'm not going to try to say it but i'm pretty sure um that's a scottish name of some sort so you could do that and you could play as either scotland or wales which i think is really cool over in england so others that are really awesome now i think the united states ones playing like releasing the confederate states and then playing as them i think would be awesome so let's see let's see here china you can release like tibet and all of them but that's you know eh. um let's see germany shall we so tag j there we go sorry i had a button stuck there too so if we go into germany here Sorry, my mouse is a little sticky, which I don't really like. 
we manage occupied territories here, we can release the nation of Bavaria, which we're going to release at the puppet because we're not actually playing this game. We're just showing it off. So you can play as Bavaria, which is really cool. I don't know if uh, Bavaria actually wanted to become their own nation. Not exactly sure, but you can release them, play as them, try to conquer Germany as them. So I think that's really cool as well. I didn't know that Britain had a troop over in Germany. How about that? Um, let's go into France. So if we go over here to France, or France, we can manage occupied territories here, and you can see that there is, uh, I think this is Korska, I think, I don't, I probably butchered that, but we can release that nation, and this is actually the island that Napoleon Bonaparte was born from, so how about that, that's really cool, so you could try to play as this tiny little island and take over the entirety of the world, or you can go in to manage Occupy territories, which I actually really enjoy this. This would be cool to do. You can release Brittany. And I think Brittany trying to fight against France. Ugh, that'd be so beautiful to do. I think that'd be awesome. Plus, the flag looks really cool for Brittany. I really enjoy it. Let's go over to Spain. What? Oh, I forgot the... The one for Spain. Oh, what is it? Is it that one? No, I forgot Spain. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, well, we'll try to go back to Spain here in a minute. I can't Google what the thing is for Spain because I can't look at it. But if we go into Turkey here, let's look at Turkey. Do they have any cool ones? Let's look. Ooh, they do. Oh, we could just return territory to Kurdistan, which I actually didn't know that Kurdistan was a lot bigger. If you return this, look how big it is. Look how big Kurdistan is. That's humongous. That's so huge. I cannot, like, I couldn't even believe that. Um, but I think some really cool ones for Spain is uh, Barcelona. You can release there as well and there's also another country right around here that you can release or you can just like give uh as the united kingdom you can give gibraltar back to spain but mm -hmm. who wants to do that let's see what other really cool ones that i look through while doing this uh italy was another cool one so let's look at italy now if we go to italy we can manage some of our occupied territories and we have actually have a fair decent amount of nations here so we can release this first one uh veneto so that's right here that little area right there so that's cool sardinia so we can release them that is this little island right here so that would be really fun to play too lombardy also really cool just right there um lombardy was actually in medieval kingdom which is really cool what is that Oh, that's so cute. I didn't actually know it was a thing. That's awesome. Then we can also release the nation of Sicily, which is right here, this little island of Sicily, uh, Palermo, which um, we landed in during World War II. So that's also really cool. One of my other things that I really wanted to do is play as the Pope and actually see if we could do something as the Pope. Not exactly sure if you even can. So that kind of sucks. Um... Let's see, are there any others? There were some really cool ones. Let's see Canada. Uh, tag. Let's see Canada. So if we go into Manage Occupied Territories here, another really cool one, Quebec. Now, Quebec is huge. Huge nation of Quebec. That would be so cool to play, but that that is huge. That is insane. Now, we can also release or return some territory to the Cascadian Republic. So the Cascadian Republic isn't just supposed to be that. It's supposed to be all of this. So that's insanity. That's so that's so crazy to me. That's huge. So this would be making for some really interesting things. Let's look at another country here. Does India have anything for us? Let's look at India. India? That's not the one for India? Oh, maybe it's Raj. Yeah, some of these take over uh, the old names. 
So that's always fun. Maybe it's Nationalist Spain. So NSP, maybe I'll have to look. Uh, we can return territory to the Republic of Pakistan, Islamic Republic of Pakistan. So what's that? Oh, just that little territory there. That's not actually too terrible. Let's let's try Spain again. Um, nope. I'm surprised I'm not able to get this. This should be easy. <sighs> yeah, but that's fine. We already know the countries that come out of that. Is there any other ones? Does Sweden have anything for us? So some of these I've actually haven't looked at before, so this is gonna be really cool. Oh no, Sweden doesn't. That makes me sad. Oh, that's a little choppy picture though. Ill. Ill. Um so look, I wish I knew Russia. Maybe it's USR. Let's try. No, I don't know Russia's tag at all. I don't think it's R-U-S because I tried it off. Yeah, it's not Russia either, so I don't know which one it is. What about China? Let's look at China. I know. Oh, yeah, this is the Republic of China. Whoops. You, I don't think. Oh, you actually do have manager occupied territories. I'm guessing you just, yeah, return that to the People's Republic. That, that's retarded. So tag... PRC. Let's see this one, shall we? Manage some occupied territories. Now, East Turkestan, which this was a bugger trying to find. That is this little area right here. Um, so that's actually really exciting. Um, I don't know. If you release this nation, it's probably going to be really difficult to play as them. You can also release Tibet, of course. So Tibet's right there. So there's uh, China, kind of during World War II-ish. Uh, Manchuria, we can release as well. That's this right here. So Japan's, I think, kind of little puppet. It was renamed, I think, something else during that. We could return territory to Vietnam, which that was just these tiny little islands right there. And then we could just return territory as, as well. So that's what you could do with China. So really, if you just release every single nation... You would be in for a lot of fun, but I think, you know, some of the top ones that are really cool, Scotland, of course, in the United Kingdom, Wales over in the United Kingdom, Brittany in France, the Confederate States, Texas, Quebec, California, those kind of things. It's really, really cool. So if you guys ever want me to do a series of maybe you want me to play as just Texas and try to make an empire out of Texas, then we could probably do that. If you guys want me to like play as Brittany and try to take over France, you know, try to do some small little things. Be Scotland. Try to take over England and Wales and all that. If you guys want me to do that, please put it down in the comments below. Also, make sure to stay tuned for both Israel and our beautiful Trump series that's going on right now. Because both of those are extremely, extremely fun. And I hope that you guys are really going to enjoy. I'm going to try one more one more nation before we go. I don't think they have anything. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. They could just return some territory, so that's kind of boring. But I thought Japan would actually have something. They don't. Oh, well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this really cool episode of my top releasable nations here in Hearts of Iron 4. Um... And again, if you guys ever want me to play as any of these, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, so this was a shorter episode, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, everybody, Glenn Games signing off as always. Take care, everyone.